Hello student, I am discussing on ultraviolet and visible spectroscopy. It is also a kind of absorption spectroscopy. Unlike IR spectroscopy, it makes use of the more energetic ultraviolet and visible rays. It has been applied largely to unsaturated, preferably un, uh, conjugated unsaturated systems. Uh, here is the representation of uh, electromagnetic spectrum. The arrangement of all type of electromagnetic radiation in order of their increasing wavelength or decreasing frequencies is known as complete electromagnetic spectrum. The visible spectrum from violet to red through rainbow color represent only a small portion of the electromagnetic spectrum. If we arrange all type of electromagnetic radiation in order of their increasing wavelength, then the portion above the visible region is called infrared, while that below it is the ultraviolet region. UV visible is often called a general technique because most molecules absorb in the UV visible wavelength range and the UV extend from 100 to 400 nm and the visible spectrum uh, from 400 to 800 nm. The 100 to 200 nm range is called the deep or far UV. Light sources are more difficult to find for this range. So it is not routinely used for UV visible measurements. Typical UV visible spectro, uh, photometer use a deuterium lamp for the UV that produces light from 170 to 375 nm and a tungsten filament lamp for visible which produces light from 350 to 2500 nm. When the wavelength of the transition exceeds the UV range based on the same principle, even the color of the molecule can be explained on the basis of absorption of visible light. These are the examples which absorb in visible region. Uh, here is the instrumentation. Uh, we, uh, we use a light source and different light source for different purposes. And here is the diffract, diffraction grating. We use prism, etc. We also use slit for for particular wavelength. And uh, here is the sample cell or reference cell. And uh, here is the detector we, uh, uh, which detect transmittance of light and plot it in plotter. The basic principle. In analyzing the absorbance by UV visible spectrophotometer is the B-Lambert law and this law states that the absorbance of a solution is directly proportional to the concentration of the solution. This is the equation A equal to log 10 I0 upon I equal to epsilon L and C where A is the absorbance of the solutions, epsilon is the molar absorptivity coefficient and C is the concentration, L is the path length. Here is the molar absorptivity and the intensity of an absorption band in UV is expressed as the molar absorptivity at maximum absorption uh, that is epsilon max. Electronic transitions. UV light can be absorbed by molecule to excite higher energy most loosely bound electron from lower energy state that is bonding or non-bonding orbitals to higher energy state that is anti-bonding orbitals and uh, uh, this is the difference in energy uh, equal to h nu uh, equal to hc upon lambda and here is the c equal to lambda nu c is the speed of light and uh, lambda is the wavelength and uh, nu is the frequency and the frequency or wavelength uh, of absorption depend on the energy gap between those two energy levels and such transitions can be studied extensively to understand the binding energy of the corresponding electrons undergoing transitions. Since pi electrons are most loosely bound in an organic molecule, UV spectroscopy yield a lot of information about the degree of unsaturation in a molecule. The more easily excited the electron that is lower energy gap between the HOMO that is highest occupied molecular orbital and the LUMO the lowest unoccupied molecular orbital the longer the wavelength of light it can absorb. Here is the example of formaldehyde where 
sigma and pi bond and uh, here is non bonding electron also there and here is the ground state where two electron in sigma and two electron in pi and two electron in non bonding and uh, uh, when uh, irradiated by uv light uh, the uh, one of the sigma orbital uh, electron from sigma orbital flip into anti bonding orbital that is sigma star and the transition is known as sigma to sigma star here is when electron flip into non bonding to sigma star the transition called n to sigma star and when electron flip from pi electron to pi star the transition is known as pi to pi star and uh, here non bonding electron flip into pi star and transition is n to pi star and in ground state HOMO is non bonding orbital and LUMO is the pi star anti -bond, uh, anti bonding orbital there are four possible type of transition that is pi to pi star n to pi star sigma to sigma star and n to sigma star and they can be ordered as follows in term of energy sigma to sigma star is more energetic as compared to n to sigma star and then pi to pi star and then n to pi star transition and here is the sigma to sigma star transition the energy of this transition is big the corresponding maxima does not appear in specific UV visible spectra that is 200 to 700 nm uh, this is called UV absorption and for example methane only CH bond where you call it sigma bonds are there allow only sigma to sigma star transition and the maximal of absorption is at 125 nm. N to sigma star transition saturated compound containing atom with unpaired electron that is non bonding electron uh, for example uh, alkyl halide allow uh, N to sigma star transition and the energy necessary for those transition is less than the energy needed for sigma to sigma star transition. Transition may be initiated by the radiation in the wavelength that is 150 to 250 nm and the number of organic functional group which have the maximum of absorption in UV region is small. Now n to pi star and pi to pi star transition most absorption band of organic compound are due to electronic transition from fundamental level n or pi on the excited level that is pi star. Absorption band for these transition fall in the 200 nm to 700 nm region and these transition require the presence in the molecule of an unsaturated group which has pi electrons. Here is two type of transition and two pi star transition have low molar absorptivity that is epsilon is near to 10 to 100 meter per um, mole per centimeter here is pi to pi star transition have high molar absorptivity epsilon is equal to nearly 1000 to 10000 the higher is the energy gap the lower is the wavelength of the light absorbed not all electronic transition are allowed certain restrictions should be considered for electronic transitions called selection rules the spin quantum number of an electron should not change during the electronic transition. The transition between two orbitals should be symmetry allowed. Any transition that violate these rules are called forbidden transition and most common forbidden transition is n to pi star transition. And here is some terminology used in UV, spect uh, UV spectroscopy, first chromophore. A covalently unsaturated group responsible for electronic absorption that is for example C double bond C, C double bond O, esters, amide, NO etc. An oxogram saturated group with non-bonded electrons which when attached to a chromophore alter both the wavelength and the intensity of the absorption for example OH, NH, NR, SH etc. Bethochromic shift the shift of absorption to a longer wavelength also known as red shift and hypsochromic shift the shift of absorption to a shorter wavelength also known as blue shift. Hyperchromic effect an increase in absorption intensity and hypochromic effect or decrease in absorption 
intensity. Effect of solvent, the solvent could influence the position of absorption band with increasing polarity and to pi star transition are shifted to lower wavelength that is blue shift. This shift is due to unpaired electron orbital energy decreases n. With increasing polarity pi to pi star transition are often not always shifted to higher wavelength that is called red shift. This is caused by attractive polarization forces between the solvent and absorbent which determine the decrease of ground and excited state energies. The decrease is greater for excited state than for fundamental state. So the difference in energy between the two labels decreases resulting in a shift of the absorption band to higher wave number that is called red shift. And this effect also influences n to pi star transition but is covered by the blue shift due to unpaired electrons. Here is the effect of conjugation. When uh, conjugation is more, the lambda max uh, uh, is more. For example, in ethylene, the energy gap is more. So it absorbs in shorter wavelength that is called 165 and in butadiene the energy gap is somewhat less in 13 butadiene the lambda max goes up 270 and uh, in case of hexatriene the energy gap is so least and in case 135 hexatriene lambda max is 258 but in case of beta carotene where uh, more double bonds are there so lambda max is 470 nm here is the lambda max uh, 1 3 butadiene is the case uh, one is trans and one is cis trans recorded at 230 nm uh, in case of cis uh, it is recorded at 270 nm uh, here is a pi to pi star transition that is probably repulsion between terminal lobes of psi 2 increases energy of HOMO psi 2 in cis form. Hence the less energy that is higher wavelength is required for psi 2 to psi 3 transition. And here is some case, uh, some more cases homo annular that is again cis form and hetero annular dying that is trans form and uh, homo annular cis form lambda max value is uh, 273 nm but in case of heteroannular diene the lambda max is 234 nm uh, now woodward fisher rule for diene woodward 1942 predicted lambda max value only for the lowest energy transition that is pi to pi star from homo to lumo here some uh, here base values and their lambda max values parent value for butadiene system or a cyclic conjugated diene that is 270 17 nm acyclic trines 245 nm and homoannular conjugated diene 253 heteroannular conjugated diene 215 nm and these are the increment for e substrand if substrand are alkyl substrand or ring residue plus 5 nm and exocyclic double bond plus 5 nm, double bond extending conjugation plus 30 nm and uh, these are the increment through oxochrome uh, if OR plus 6 nm, SR 30 nm, CL or BR plus 5 nm, NR2 plus 60 nm or OCOCS3 that is 0 nm. These are some examples. Uh, here is um, one example. This is the example of homoannular diene. The base value of homoannular diene is 253 nm. Uh, three ring residue is depicted by red line. Here is a three red line or you call it three ring residue. One ring residue uh, consists five plus five increment. So three multiplied by five plus 15 and one exocyclic C double bond C plus five further added. And the total is 273 nm and observed value is 275 nm. And uh, another case is a heteroannular uh, uh, diene. 
Base value of heteroannular dyne is 215 nm, free ring residue, which is depicted by red line in the ring, uh, not outer the ring, uh, but inside the ring, 3 ring residue, again plus 15. One alkyl substrate, here is a CS3, uh, that is plus 5, and one exocyclic C double bond. And uh, uh, exocyclic double bond means uh, the double bond attached to uh, direct uh, ring, uh, you call it intermediate uh, uh, yeah, intersection of the ring that is plus 5 and the total value is 240 nm. Another case is uh, um, this is again heteroannular dyne uh, uh, the base value is again 215 nm uh, by mistake I will return here 214 nm and 3 alkyl substrate uh, uh, that is 1 CS3, uh, 3 CS3 groups are there plus 15. The total value is 229 nm and observed value is 232 uh, nm. This is the alpha beta unsaturated compound uh, where base value and lambda max values are given uh, here. Given here. A cyclic and alpha beta unsaturated ketone, the lambda max value is 215 nm. And six member cyclic alpha beta unsaturated ketone, 215. Five member cyclic, 202. Alpha beta unsaturated aldehyde, that is 210. And alpha beta unsaturated carboxylic acid and ester, that is 195. And these are the increment for each substrate. Double bond extending conjugation plus 30. Exocyclic double bond plus 5. Homo uh, diene component plus 39 and alkyl sub uh, group yeah, that is called ring residue if uh, in alpha position plus 10 if beta position plus 12 if gamma or delta plus 18 and here is the polar group OH uh, if attached to alpha beta and gamma the respective value plus 30 5 plus 30 and plus 50 respectively and OAC uh, alpha beta gamma plus 6 uh, lambda max value uh, and OME alpha beta gamma beta here is the 35, 30, 17, 31 and so on. Here is the example uh, first uh, here is the conjugated uh, dyne system and uh, here is the carbonyl group the base value is 215 nm. One uh, double bond extending conjugation DEC here is a double bond extending conjugation here is plus 5 increment and beta alkyl substrate here is a alpha position and here is uh, beta position beta and here is beta beta uh, the red uh, in, in uh, we depict by red line beta uh, alkyl substrate plus 12 and here is the gamma alkyl substrate that is called plus 18 and here is also a delta uh, alkyl substrate plus 18 and the total value is 298 and another case this is the again another carbonyl group here is the base value is again 215 nm and here is the alpha one alkyl substrate in al alpha position plus 10 and another is beta position plus 12 and uh, is the total 237 uh, 237 nm again another five member carbo uh, cyclic uh, here is a five, five member uh, ketone here the base value is 202 nm and here is exocyclic c double bond c and that is plus 5 and two beta ring residue here is two red lines inside the ring plus 20 4 and the total value is 231 nm and object value is 260 nm. Thank you very much.